Alrighty then, how's it going guys? And uh, Happy New Year to all of you out there. Unfortunately, I'm not really having one. <laughs> so let me tell you a story. Yesterday, um, being New Year's Day, which is a public holiday here in Malaysia, um, I called up my a fr good friend of mine in, in the morning and I was like, Hey bro, you want to go for a ride today? And he was like, yeah, sure, let's go for a ride today. You know, it was a nice day. So, jumped on Emma and uh, went for a cruise up in the, in the hills. And uh, while we're, uh, you know, while we're, we're, we're smashing around up in the twisties, um, we stopped for a minute and I turned my bike off as you do and then went to go turn it back on again and the battery was flat. I'm like, oh shit, that's not good. Oh well, um, you know, pretty sure this, uh, this battery's been on its way out for a while, so you know, it must, uh, yeah, it must have finally been time. Oh well, we'll just push start it, and uh, and then you know, send, you know, keep going. So we uh, we bump started it, and and it started up okay, and we finished our ride, and. And then, uh, as I was riding home, it didn't get any better. No. So, the coil that charges the battery while you're riding decided to go and cark itself. So, my bike was using more power than it was able to put back into the battery. So. I don't know if anybody else out there in, subscribed to my channel has ever experienced such a thing before, but it wasn't very nice because my instrument cluster didn't work, my lights weren't working, the bike was like in in some sort of emergency limp mode, like, you know, I, it, it didn't have enough power to run the spark plugs or the fuel injectors consistently. so. I was literally just kind of limping home with the bike going um, which as you can imagine I'm stressing out because I'm like ah you know don't don't cause more damage there's already you know enough going on but I managed to get home um, and uh, you know and you know the bike other than the the problem you know the coil and the battery it seems to be okay so I uh, called up my mechanic I said you know I'm gonna drop my my uh, my bike off tomorrow he was like yep sure no problem so call the tow truck today tow truck came picked it up that cost me 120 ringgit and then um, and then uh, then I got the really bad news so it turns out that having your coil rewound is going to cost me about 400 ringgit and if it can't be rewound and it needs to be replaced it's going to cost me a thousand ringgit which is pretty shit because on top of that I also need to buy a new battery so that's like a hundred what 150 ringgit so yeah not really having the best start of the year uh, to be honest um, of course it could be worse you know I didn't come off you know, that, that's always you know touch wood it's always a better thing than, uh, than just the, to, to have a breakdown than a crash so yeah, thank God for that. Anyway, guys, that's all I wanted to share with you. I hope that your New Year's has been better than mine. Um, and until next time, have a good one.